The BTE Touring Truck Championship Please select your truck. Pinchy Emperor Coconut
Bum, 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 bum. Who the hell are you? J.B. Harrell, huh? Ted Rosen. We're gonna be working together on this. Just the two of us? <laughs> hey, look, we have over 30 murder investigations a week. You think we can spare cops for this? Yeah, even a case like this. Now, uh, I assume you've seen this before. It's the gun your friend was holding. Four bullets left in the cylinder, no fingerprints except for hers. These are the bullets we took from the victim's bodies. Do they match the gun? Yeah, <laughs> they match up perfectly. Hey, look, I hate to tell you this, but it's too much evidence says your friend's guilty as hell. I mean, a blood-stained knife, the cocaine, gun with fingerprints. Right. Perfect tabloid material, you know? Beautiful detective, teenager, cocaine. But look, it's too perfect. It just doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't add up. What makes you feel that way? <laughs> well, let me ask you something, Harold. Why'd you come here? Just to dig up dirt on your friend and expose it to the public? To get my own hands on the punk that killed Catherine. All right.
Four years have passed since first contact. Earth, the third planet, fell under siege to an alien fleet the likes of which we'd never seen. The situation seemed dire, but to our surprise, the enemy were easily repelled, withdrawing at the first show of resistance and vanishing as swiftly as they'd appeared. Their technology had simply been no match for that of mankind. Considering the minimal damage done, there was perhaps a silver lining to the incident. The attack had unified us, bringing an end to eons of conflict over ethnic and religious divides. Afterward, we studied what we could from the wreckage of enemy ships, but there was precious little to be learned. The vessels had been outfitted with self-breaking mechanisms, making them all but impossible to examine. Then, two years later, there was a second contact. The identity of the alien menace remained a mystery, but this time, we were ready for them. Knowing another encounter was all but inevitable, we'd work together as one human race to make preparations to intercept and attack. Having only incurred minor damage in the previous clash, we'd assumed the enemy would be even easier to repel this time, but the alien invaders had another surprise for us. Their once outdated technology had evolved immensely in two years' time. It was now nearly on par with our own. Had we not undergone a technological revolution over those two years, they might have wiped us out then and there. Then, as the battle descended into chaos, the enemy vanished yet again. This time, however, we were able to track them. They had performed a series of space-time jumps, consolidating their forces at the edge of our solar system. Then, with a mysterious blast, disappeared altogether. Some theorized they'd recognized their imminent defeat and self-destructed, but ultimately, we determined it safest to assume they'd escaped, leaving open the possibility of a future encounter. Another two years passed, and now they've made contact for a third time. This time, certain facets of their technology have surpassed ours. This comes in spite of humanity's strength and coordination and further technological advances since the last contact. We no longer have the assurance we once did. Only questions. Why do they attack at two-year intervals? Where did they come from? And who, or what, are they? This is Hog One. Bryce, Bertie, radio check. Loud and clear, sir. This marks the first field up of the illustrious Joint Space Command. Let's move out. Mission area coordinates confirmed. Initiating jump. All scan points will be displayed on your HUD. Just follow the screen. Approaching mission area. Disengaging jump drive. All units, fan out. Let's be home in time for dinner. Please align your targeting reticle with the green marker. All units have reached the scanning point. Very good. Undock your support craft and start scanning. Undocking Kite 3. Stand by on heightened alert. Kite 3. Initiating scan. All support craft have finished conducting their scan, sir. All right. Let's dock them and roll back. Picking up increased kinetic activity at the enemy site. Well, guess they finally noticed. Thermal reading spiking. They're attacking. 
Kite 3 damaged. All channels offline. Detecting jump turbulence. No ID signals. Multiple enemy craft exiting jump. All units, intercept at your own discretion. Time to step it up.
nothing. Now lock on to the strongest power source. It should be the power generator. Dracula, die now and leave this world. You'll never belong here. Oh, but this world invited me. Your own kind called me forth with praise and tribute. Tribute? You're a thief. You steal men's souls, their freedom. 
Freedom is always sacrificed to faith, good hunter. Or are you truly here by choice? All I'm here for is you. To hell with your heresy! You're nothing but a blight on mankind. Ha! Mankind. A cesspit of hatred and lies. Fight for them, then, and die for their sins! <laughs> Insolent boy, but there will be no games here. If you will not behave, be gone. I will do neither. Step aside, old man. <laughs> Such arrogance. Very well, but I shall see you very soon. Welcome to my home. I'll take you on a guided tour. Use the D-pad to go into the music room. OK, let's do some tumbling. Press the jump button. Now press it again and quickly press one of the directions and I'll jump that way. Backwards, and I'll jump off backwards. Immediately press and hold the action button, and I'll grab the ledge on the way down. Yeah. <laughs> 